7 Top Trello Tips and Tricks 2022. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can optimize your Trello experience using these simple power-ups and these simple tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. So let's get into it now. First off, you're going to have to log on to your Trello account and I have logged on to my Trello account and I have quite a few different workspaces on Trello. So I have this animal workspace, like animal shelter workspace that I was going to create and I'm going to show you guys how to add different power-ups and how to integrate these tips into your practical Trello board. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up whatever board you want to optimize using these tips. And what you're going to do is you're just going to click on power-ups over here on the top right and then you're going to click on add power-ups and then you can see there are quite a few different power-ups available for you to get started with now i'm going to recommend you some of the top 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 power-ups that are super useful and efficient because uh efficiency is probably one of the hardest things you gain on any project management software you might end up littering your entire workspace with different integrations but it still might not be the perfect experience for you because it won't be perfectly optimized so Number one on my list to add into your Trello workspace is CRMBLE, Crumble or uh, CRM Bowl. It is basically a CRM tool, which is absolutely fantastic to use for your CRM needs. So if you're looking to add a CRM platform, we're just going to click on add over here, and then you're going to add this to your CRM platform, and you can easily get started with your CRM needs with this. It optimizes your leads, it optimizes your contacts, rejected contacts, approved contacts. You're just gonna click on connect to Trello, and then you're just going to authorize it from here. You're going to click on allow and then you will have to just enter all of this information and then you're just going to click on allow over here to authorize CRM Bowl or Crumble to begin optimizing your Trello boards. And especially if you're a team with uh, basic CRM needs, then CRM Crumble might be the best CRM tool for you because it allows you the Trello experience on a very simple and easy platform. Now, the next up on our list is bulk action. So uh, with Crumble, let's say you open up Crumble over here and you have like 50 different leads or 60 different leads and you know you have a lot of different data added to your list, then you might have a difficult time managing it. So for that purpose, it's very essential to have a tool that will allow you bulk editing on Trello. So let's say I have multiple different pets available. I'm just gonna add a few tasks over here and I'm just going to add a few uh random names and you can see with this you have to copy cards move cards and it's a very difficult job to move things like this individually especially if you're dealing with hundreds of cards at a time for that purpose it's very essential that you go with a tool to do bulk editing so you're just going to click on power ups and click on add power ups over here and then you're just going to go into your search bar and search for bulk and then you have bulk actions and you're going to make sure to add this as well this is one of their top 10 power ups of 2021 as well and this shows you how efficient and how useful this actually is so you're just going to click on add over here and then you will just add your power up over here and once it has been added you can just refresh to uh, make it appear over here and you can just click on your power up section and you can turn off any power up for a time being when you don't need it but we're just going to wait for our bulk editing one to be added so i'm just going to check again and I'm just going to click on add over here, click on add. And if you're dealing with a larger business, if you have something that is going to be a bit difficult to manage individually, then using bulk actions is definitely going to be super, super efficient for you. And you just need to authorize it with any of these integrations. You will have to authorize them with your Trello account. So you're just gonna, going to have to click on allow over here to authorize them to edit and manage your Trello boards. And don't worry, all of these are super, super legitimate you don't have to worry about anything of the sort of your tasks being leaked or your any of that information gaps that might end up forming so you don't have to worry about that and you can see now i can bulk edit multiple things at a time i can move these all together and i can select multiple cards i can edit multiple cards and i can add multiple items at once as well with different due dates and between i can set up like an entire range of due dates as well and you also can create custom fields and have different members assigned to different tasks you can rename relabel archive tasks all together and it is a super useful tool i find that without this tool i personally could not use Trello because bulk editing is a very central feature for any business of most size. Unless you're just starting out, you're going to end up needing bulk editing eventually. 
So next up on our list is a calendar. So a lot of things are missing in Trello and a calendar is one of those things. So if you click on your board over here on the left, you can add a timeline view, but it is usually on the paid version only of Trello. So for that, I'm going to pay for the premium version of Trello. So I just like to click on power ups, click on add power ups, and I just integrate a calendar onto my Trello account. So just search for calendar. And then you have a Google Calendar as well. You have Playway. I find that all of the calendar applications work fine, but the calendar power up, which is a simple power up actually created by Trello themselves, is pretty simple and easy to use. And you can just click on add over here, and then you can have a visual aspect of your Trello cards or tasks, whatever you might want to call them. So you see, you will have a calendar where you can see where all of your tasks are, how far along a certain task is, so you can see the due dates. And this will be a very nice graphic illustration for you to better understand the progress of your tasks now next up on our list is amazing fields so if you click on your power ups and amazing fields is another great integration that you must add to trello so if you click on amazing fields over here what this is is that all of your tasks are going to look very similar and all the Trello boards are going to be customizable but they're not very customizable to a very large extent so you can see over here that this power up will basically allow you to create numbers checkboxes dates drop downs uh, reorder files conditional coloring field display options and so much more so you will have a lot more detail within your Trello cards if you add this integration so if you were looking for more detail like in monday.com they have a lot of great detail added to their tasks but I'm Trello, that kind of detail is missing. So if you want to add that kind of detail onto your task, then Amazing Fields is also a great integration or a great power up for you to use on your Trello account. And I don't recommend this to everyone because not everyone needs excessive detail in their tasks. But if you are someone that needs task, you know, information, there is like super detailed information about your tasks, then you definitely should check this out. Now, next up on our list is card dependencies. So Let's say that Lily cannot be adopted until um, one person signs a waiver form. For this kind of task, I need to add dependencies. So I like to click on power ups, add power up, and add the dependency power up. So you're just going to search for card dependencies. And this is card dependencies by Screenful. You're just going to add that. And what this allows you to do is like if you have multiple assignees, let's say if one person is working in marketing and the other person is working in sales, then the person that is working in sales cannot make their sales until the marketing campaign is launched. So the dependency is on the marketing person and only then the salesperson will be actually able to work. So you can add those dependencies via this power up. And this helps you in managing employees, especially because if you have employees, issues then you can see who is the one that delayed work or who is the one that is causing issues or delays in your business now next up on our list is another super helpful and practical power up that i like to add is costello so uh it's c-o-s-t-e-l-l-o -L -L -O, and costello is a simple uh card optimizing software as well or a power up as well and what this allows you to do is you can optimize your costs for each of your cards if you're running a business or managing a business you have to take care of your losses and profits then costello is amazing to add prices you can add different multiple different currencies you can add the overall all uh, pricing that is going to take you to complete this task on Costello. So those were all of the special power-ups that I was going to show you guys in this video. Depending on your needs and the level of your business, what kind of business you're running or what kind of project you're managing, I hope you guys would find these helpful for your businesses as well as I have for mine. And you can manage multiple different kinds of projects using these and you can add only the ones that you find essential for your business. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to manage your cards and access Trello or optimize Trello better. If you have any questions about Trello, or any of these power-ups leave them in the comment box down below and i will make sure to answer them and i will catch you guys in the next video